Okay, so today I'm going to start the next phase, one of the last parts to this big Ohio project. I've got all this hornstone. These are all the big flakes that are left over, the big spalling flakes from the first large nodule. What I'm going to do is turn these into a biface cache. Some smaller ones. I've still got a big nodule left here. But I don't have my big uh, spalling hammer stones with me, so that'll have to wait until another day. But for now, I'm going to start by facing these down. Just going to get rid of the high spots, kind of balance everything out, turn them into, you know, rough ovate by faces. I'll be pretty quick with this. You know, not really taking my time, just using a hammer stone to roughly shape things out. I might take a, a few nice thinning flakes along the way, but generally just by facing these down, making a large by face cache as quick as I can. These are two of the flakes from the first nodule that I started by facing down. This one's really rough. This one's pretty refined, except for this big lump here. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna try and keep this bullseye effect in the final pieces. That's what I love the most about this Hornstone. It's really interesting. The patterns that get created in this stone. I'll just move everything out of the way for now.
So I just very roughly dulled up the edges there, prepared a platform here to try and start taking down the high spot along the ridge. I need to prepare that a little better. That should do. See how that's just a bit better lined up to take a flake here. Before it was a little bit heavy right beside it. Maybe I'll take this with the antler. It's just a little bit sharp back here. I felt it on my finger. I want to make sure that's nice and dull when you're holding that for a big flake removal. Took me a whole bunch of tries there. I finally got it. Almost just barely cut myself at the end there where I was holding it. That's where my finger was. Actually, I think my finger was right there. I felt it along that. Not a bad start. Broke right along that quartz pocket. Amazing character in this stone. Nope, messed that one up. It's okay, we can just fix up that platform. Try again.
Sorry, I was getting a bit out of frame there. Trying to figure out the best way to attack this high spot. It's usually in one of the corners. I want to try and go from here, but I need to make that platform a little better. That might work now, I don't know. Might be able to take this. Part of it.
pretty tricky spot right there actually. Smaller hammer stone might help. Wow, this little quartzite hammer has got just the right amount of oomph for this. That felt really weird and sounded really weird coming off, but I just barely hit that platform and it lipped. Took a really shallow flake along that whole face, which is really nice.
almost. Nice little almost overshot there. Just barely took a little nick out of that opposite edge. So I guess technically that's an overshot. Nice overface flake. You might call that a tranchette flake almost. If this was at the end of an axe or something. your tranchette flake that's for sure took all that nasty bit off there Video is over half an hour already, but I need to get this this piece done for it at least.
bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. This biface is going to be more fully refined than I had originally intended because I had to take a lot of Yeah, it took a while to get all these edges normal, somewhat. I think I'm getting tired, making a few bad decisions here. That worked out nicely. All the way down to there. Pretty thick flake. Flatten it out somewhat decently enough. Enough that I can almost call this a complete rough biface.
Okay, well this isn't perfect, but I need to stop playing around here and just call it good enough for now. It was only intended to be a rough biface. I did a lot more than I had originally planned. Sometimes my obsessiveness takes over, but that's done. That's how I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to keep all this nice quartz in the middle. It looks really cool. You know, I could, I could regularize these edges a little bit more, but I don't need to for the purposes of this video, this project. So we'll call that biface number one of the Hornstone biface cache. I don't know how many I'll end up with, but that's a good start. 